I'm just going to take you through how I do my post production for a lightboard video. So first of all, uh, because I use uh, an SD card, I need to move the video onto my computer. Um, so I just save it into a folder called Camtasia, find the one that I want, and then I can just drag that straight down to um, the timeline. Now, here's my trick. I have a look at where I'm talking and where I'm not talking. Now, where I'm not talking, I might consider maybe cutting that out or speeding it up. Uh, and because I'm in the studio by myself, I press record and then walk across and start talking. So I know this part here at the start needs to be cut out. But the absolute first thing we need to do is turn at 180 degrees. And it's as simple as that. That's the only time we have to do that. The other thing I just have a look at is, is there anything I want to trim out? See how we can see the edge of the board here. I don't want that, so I'm just going to crop it. And really importantly, I want to crop it now before I start um, carving up the video. All right, now there's a little bit dark, a little bit lighter than I'd like here as well. So I could um, just tidy that up a little bit as well. So I can go ahead and remove a color, drag it down here, and the color I want to remove, there you go, see what I did there, it looks a little bit nicer. Okay, now, so we're going to go ahead and see, we want to cut out this first part, because I know that that's just me, you know, it's out of focus, etc. So I want to start here. And I'm just going to check to make sure it's okay, and then I'll move on. Immunity is the ability to be able to resist being infected by a particular pathogen. So now I need to decide about whether I want to cut that out entirely or speed it up, because it's just me writing, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, maybe speed it up. So I can go um, add clip speed, uh, clip speed's over here. Okay, and I'm going to make that three times. And also, I'm going to um, edit the audio and drag that down, because otherwise all you hear is the squeaking of the pen. Okay, snap that in. Um, and then I can just go in and put some transitions in as well, so it fades in a little bit nicer, in and out a bit nicer. Now, immunity can be acquired in several yeah, different ways. Pretty good, I'm pretty happy with that. I'd probably just keep that in because there's only a little now, quite bit acquired. of writing. But I'm looking over here and I can see, okay, I'm doing a lot of writing again. Maybe I might just go ahead and just chop that all out. Okay, I just press delete and it's all gone. Slide in a fade. Um, then I can move on to my next part. What am I doing here? I think I'm doing a little bit of writing. And then there's a spike. Now. now. <laughs> And look at that, I don't want to keep that in, do I? Because so, I had to check my notes, so I'm going to get rid of all of that, because that was pretty unprofessional. So, you know, you do need to have a bit of a look, just to make sure it's okay. Um, chuck in a fade, and then we can skip over here. So if I make a mistake, what I'll do is I'll just be quiet for a period, third, 10 seconds or so, and then I'll restart. And that way, when I'm doing my post, I can come back and have a quick look, easily find it. Okay, so I might speed that up. Um, and, and so the other thing that when I'm doing my video, I try not to talk when I'm doing a lot of writing because I know that I'm either going to be speeding it up or cutting it out. Now, we know that students like um, uh, the videos when the instructor writes and draws in real time, so you're better off not cutting it out but just speeding it up a little bit. Um, so... Yeah, two or three times is adequate. And of course, the students can pause it if they need to. I think this all looks pretty good. I'm doing some pretty good talking there. Because I'm pretty confident that I know that if I had made a mistake, I would have paused to make it easy for me to find. I'm doing some more writing here. Quite a bit of writing.
So look, I'm probably not going to show you this whole thing because I've got another three minutes to go, except to say that I probably only spend about three, about five minutes doing my post production. That's about it. Um, you know, and part of that is is through experience. Um, you know, the, the more you use a tool, the easier it is. But it's also, um, we'll see, look at this, I just left the screen. So where did I go there? That was interesting, wasn't it? Let's see what I do. Oh, I don't want to keep that in, that's pretty ordinary, isn't it? So I'm going to get rid of all of that. So I actually wonder... Now, we can also get immunity in artificial ways as well. This is where I forgot what I wanted to say, I think. Now, so probably here is I said all of that again. So artificially acquired immunity. Okay, no, that's all right. So definitely get all, rid of all of that. <clears throat> I probably should have waited until I got fully on, onto the screen before I started talking again. We're almost there. And you can see, because I've cut a little bit of it out, I've reduced the size of the video. It was six minutes, and it's going to take it down to about five minutes, which is far more manageable. For this, I think, a minute. It's only a minute, really, isn't it? Okay, so bring down those fades. It just makes it a little bit more professional. And then, I know the end, I need a top of the uh, infections. What am I going to say here? And so that is the process of... Uh, so there's really no value in what I've just said there. So I'm going to cut it here. Um, and that's going to be the end of it for me. It might fade out. Okay, so that's it. I've done everything I need to do there. Um, so now I just go in and um, uh, do my rendering, basically. So I send that off. Now... Obviously, give it a, a proper title, um, and you need to ensure that you save it somewhere that's appropriate for.